Hey guys, this is a video on the Galaxy Watch 5 and straps for the Galaxy Watch 5. So first up, we'll start talking about metal bands and why you can't use a standard 20mm band on the Galaxy Watch 5. So similarly with the Galaxy Watch 4, the width of the lugs here, you would think that they're 20 millimeters as what they advertise, but it's actually a little bit smaller than that. And what that means is, so you can see it's 19.85. So what this means is you can't actually use a, a traditional 20 millimeter strap or 20 millimeter metal strap because this here, that measures about 19.9. .9. So that's not gonna properly fit into the lugs here. So if I put it this way, you can see it's, it's actually not going in the whole way. So in order for us to get a normal 20 millimeter band to work, we're gonna to need to put in uh, some of these Galaxy Watch adapters. So these are the same adapters we use for the Galaxy Watch 4 and 5. So our adapters come with double-sided spring bars to help you get it in very easily. So in order to get this in, we're gonna insert the adapter from the back, like so. And then we're gonna depress each lever from each side. And once it clicks into place, that means the adapter is firmly onto the watch. So I'll put the other side of the adapter in now as well. So what we'll do now is we're going to put the quick release spring bars into the end of this strap. So put one side into one side first, and then we'll do the, the other side. And make sure that clicks into place like that. So for the other side, same thing. Cool, so now the straps on the watch. So this strap here is uh, our what we call the beads of rice strap. And you can see this actually looks pretty good on the watch. So the other option we have with with uh, metal straps is instead of buying the adapters, you can actually buy just a, a fitted strap like this. So you can see here on the end of this strap is the curved ends. So these already have the fitted ends and all, all the adapters on it. So you don't need to purchase the adapters. So the downside with having adapters is they actually increase the length of the strap by a few millimeters. So if you have small wrists, that could cause a little bit of a problem for you. So with our fitted straps, you can see there's a little notch there. That notch is for the speaker on the watch. So you just need to make sure to line up the speaker with a speaker hole there. Oops. So that's firmly into place. And now we're gonna do the other side. So again, we're just inserting it from the back first. You can see there's little wings here that would stop you from putting it the other way. So that's why we have to do it from the back first. Cool. So this is our fitted bracelet number two. 
Uh, we do have it in the silver and gold, silver and rose gold, as well as a black. Uh, I'll put the other straps on as well, just so you can see what it looks like once it's on the watch. So I won't do the black one yet because I'm going to fit it onto the screen protector and you can see how that matches. So speaker hole there, so I'm going to make sure that lines up first. Okay, so this is our fitted bracelet one. And the two here are our armor bracelets. These are probably best for our small wrists because you can see these empty holes here. This means you can remove extra links from each side. So if you've got a small wrist like me, this will be able to fit your wrist because you can take out pretty much all the links. So we've only recently launched the armor bracelet, but it's become one of our best sellers already. So if you were to consider a fitted bracelet, this is probably one to consider. Okay, so that's how the armor bracelet looks with a silver and black center line. And I'll just quickly show the plain silver as well. I did forget to mention that pretty much all the, the metal bracelets have a deployant clasp. So what that means is uh, there's a little, it's like a buckle, but um, it folds apart uh, and you don't need to keep adjusting the strap every single time. So it just makes it a bit more of a pleasant experience putting your watch on as opposed to using a standard buckle that you have to adjust every single time. Okay, so that's how the plain silver looks. We also do sell screen protectors, or in this case, uh, a bumper protector. Um, and these just fit snugly and just snap into place. So I should put do, do it the other side. So button side first to make things easier. So there you go. So you will notice that these protectors have little notches on the end. This is kind of a necessary evil, uh, just in the sense that in order for these fitted straps to fit, they need we need to cut out a little bit just to make sure that it fits otherwise these notches get in the way and then we can't use um, a fitted strap onto the watch so these straps here are our milanese mesh bracelets well milanese mesh um, they fit the same way so quick release spring bars So out of all the straps that you should get, this is probably the one that I most strongly recommend because it's, it's extremely breathable. So you can see there's holes all the way through this strap. So if you're going to sweat, the sweat's going to evaporate pretty quickly with the wind. Okay, so this is how our mesh strap looks with a black screen protector on a silver watch. So you can see that there is a little bit of the silver exposed, but overall it's probably not too noticeable. So I am going to put this on my wrist. Um, so I have a pretty small wrist. I think it's about 14 centimeters in circumference. But the Milanese strap does fit my wrist. I'm probably right at the edge though. Um, there's probably, if you have an even smaller wrist, it may not fit too well. But in saying that, with um, this is a 45 millimeter watch. So if you've got the 40 or 44, 
it means that you, if you have a smaller wrist, even smaller wrist, you can possibly fit it. But on a 45 millimeter watch, you can see I'm, I'm almost at the end. So you probably have about maybe up to a 13, 13.5 centimeter wrist that would fit this. And this just attaches by a magnet. And you can see it's, it's not really going anywhere when I'm shaking it away. So pretty secure. So I'm not going to test the rose gold strap, but I will test the silver one for you. Just so that we can compare the colors because the Pro 5, uh, this is more like a gray that they advertise it as. Whereas our Milanese mesh is a, a silver that we advertise it as. Um, we do have a, a gray or a gunmetal gray as well, but uh, I don't have that on me today. So I'm just going to do this as a comparison and to see how it fits, how the color matches on the, on the, the gray Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. Cool. So color match wise, it's pretty good. The case is probably slightly more, slightly darker, but it's a very negligible difference. So now we've got our, our leather hybrid straps. So these are leather, sorry, silicone backed with a leather lining on top. So this is kind of like a best of both worlds kind of thing where uh, you can take this to um, and play sports um, and not worry about damaging the leather, but also maintaining a, a kind of like a nice look rather than being just a pure sports look. Okay, so that's how this looks, the leather hybrid looks on, on the watch, noting this, the black buckles. And we also have some fitted silicone straps as well. So again, curved ends. So just one good thing to remember is the buckle side should be on the top of the watch. So that's the top of the watch there. And so this is our uh, stripe silicone. We have this in uh, a few different colorways, so you'll be able to mix and match. And then finally, we've got our kind of like a straight ended strap. So this is more a traditional watch strap, but uh, what you can do is you can pair these with our adapters so that you get the curved ends or the fitted ends so that you can eliminate that annoying gap. So these also feature quick release spring bars. And this is the Ultranado. So these are pretty popular in the in the watch world because they're more they're military inspired so they they look pretty good to be honest and uh, they're frequently um, used on watches like Amigas as well as two doors. Okay, so that's how a NATO strap looks with the adapter. And just for the sake of putting on the wrist, it'll look much better on a large wrist. Um, I've got tiny wrists, so it doesn't look as good, but you can kind of see how it looks with the adapter on. So this is a similar thing, just, just in green. I'll just show you just how it looks. So that's how a green nano strap looks on, on this watch with the adapters. And then last of all, we've got uh, this leather vintage knotted nubuck strap. 
we've got a pretty big selection of leather straps as well. Um, but these vintage style ones are, are pretty popular and they tend to pretty much sell out every time. I've actually pinched these spring bars on, and put them onto the steel bracelet because I've got to bring them home. So I'm just going to quickly reinstall then. So this is how the leather strap looks on the watch with the adapters again. So that's all I had for today. So let me know if you've had any questions on the adapters or how the fitted bracelets fit. Um, actually, I will show you how the deployment class works. So once you've fitted these straps to your wrist, all you need to do to get a, a watch off your wrist is just basically to press these in and it unfolds and then you're able to take your wrist out. And then when you want to put your watch back on, all you need to do is put your wrist back on and then it just click it back into place like that. So it just makes things a lot easier to get onto the wrist. Cool, all right, I'll see you guys later.